In our very first etymology episode, we looked at the origins of the word science. If you haven't seen it yet, there is an I in the corner. That corner. That corner. <laughs> Up until about 1779, when the word for science starts actually being used in the way that it's used today, science was kind of described as natural philosophy. Natural philosophy can actually trace its roots all the way back to Aristotle, but we're not going to go back that far, because who has time for that? Yeah. So it makes sense that the people that studied natural philosophy were also called natural philosophers. As the word science, meaning the study of naturally occurring processes in our world, started to kind of catch on a little bit more, it started to occur to people that the term natural philosopher needed a little bit of an update. And actually, the term scientist didn't appear at all until 1834. Author and natural philosopher, or as we call it today, a scientist, William Wilhelm was at the annual meeting of the British Association for the Advancement of Science. And in this meeting, this problem was being discussed. The people had started to figure out that natural philosopher didn't really describe exactly what a scientist did. And the reason it didn't make an awful lot of sense was because philosophy as a study, as a kind of system of thought, was really starting to stand out on its own. And scientists at the time were, you know, rightly worried that people would get confused. William Wilhelm describes the meeting and it's essentially basically a list of minutes, a list of things that happened at the meeting. One of the things was that somebody brought up that they needed a change of name. Somebody at this meeting brought up the fact that people that practiced art or did art called themselves artists. So maybe that could work for them. And just like that, the term scientist was born and it stuck which is really great because the other option they were considering was savant, which let's be honest, sounds horrifically arrogant. Can you imagine? Ugh. If you enjoyed this video, there are plenty more where that came from. Make sure you hit the subscribe button down below and also the notification bell next to it so you get notified of when new videos go up. You can also follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and Pinterest for links to extra content. You can go to my blog, and you can watch this face right here. I don't know how else to end that. <laughs> oh, and I think that's all I got. <laughs> I feel really weird without tea, I'm not gonna lie. I think I need something in my hands. <laughs>